Do you see this image? I created this image within few seconds with just a text prompt. In this video, I am going to show you how easy it is to create similar images with Elemental Fire by using low rank adaptation model on top of a base model. Primarily in this video, I am going to show you how you can use LoRa models on top of pre-trained or base models in Comfy UI. You can use the same procedure in Automatic 11.11 or any other stable diffusion GUI. Not only I will be showing you the whole process, but also I will be explaining each and every term in as simple words as possible so that even beginners can do it. So let's get started. If this is the first time you are hearing of Comfy UI, then I would highly recommend that watch this video on my channel, which says easiest tutorial on Comfy UI. All you need to know about it. This tutorial teaches you how to install this Comfy UI locally and then set everything up. And I'm so confident that you'll be able to do it even if you don't have any technical background that I even give a money back guarantee on that even if it is free. So please watch it out if you're following along and then go back to this video which I'm showing you now. So what is happening in this video is I am using this Comfy UI interface in order to create the image which I just showed you. So how this works. Now what happens is that normally when you create an image from text you use a vision model or a stable diffusion model in our case. In this video, I am using this pre-trained model, which is called as a Rev Animated. It is one of the most popular model out there and it's been around for quite some time. So as a pre-trained model, I have used Rev Animated. But the purpose of this video is to show you how you can use a LoRa model on top of it. So what is a LoRa model? In simple words, when we say LoRa model, what it means is that LoRa's are patches applied on top of the main model or the base model to use them in a different way. So if we have wanted that, okay, whatever images are being generated by this Rev animated should have some elemental fire or fiery sort of look, then I will create a LoRa or a low rank adaptation layer or patch on top for this model and then I will use it on top of this model to give any image created by this rev animated a fiery look just we did here. Now if you just want to create this sort of fiery look from rev animated yes you might be able to do it uh, somehow but you would have to come up with a lot of prompt engineering maybe you won't get those effects simply or in other words for example what happens is that you want to uh, make this rev animated model to create your own photos. So there are two options here. Either you train them from scratch, which is very expensive. No one has the time or money to do that. Or you don't do some sort of prompt engineering. But how would you do that? Because model is not aware of your face. So the best way to is take some of your images and then by using fine tuning, you retrain that model and create a LoRa adapter by fine tuning and then create a model which would understand your images. This video is not about creating LoRa. I have done other videos. This video is how you can use this LoRa in Comfy UI. So what happens is that someone created this Rev animated base model. Then another person created a LoRa or low rank adaptation model, which is called as Elementor Firestyle. And then whenever we use both of these together, so first we use a Rev animated on top of it, we apply this LoRa, then we are able to generate this Elemental Fire Look images. That is how it works. So how do we use it in Com Comfy UI? I am using it here and I am going to show you step by step how to use it. And I will also walk you through what is happening in this one. So you see, this is on top of it is my prompt. That is just I have given it. And then it has created this elemental fiery element. So let me quickly clear everything by clicking on this clear here. So everything is clear, right? We are starting from scratch. So before I do anything, let's 
click on load, load default just click on load default so it just loads the default stuff for you so just keep it here just arrange it as you like so i'm just going to arrange everything here and i'm just going to put the save image here so that we'll be able to see the image okay so this is cool and i'm just going to move it here in here and in here okay i always like to do this so first try to understand what is happening here i already have described it in this video this whole interface of comfy ui but let me for the sake of completion let me do it again here so on let's start from very left in comfy ui nodes are the basic building blocks load checkpoint is where we load our model whatever model we are using the base or pre-trained model in our case what that model would be it would be this rev animated now where you can get it there are multiple sites on internet from you where you can get it you can get it from a lot of places i am getting it from this uh, website called as cvtie.com i will drop the link to it in video description the whole link of the model so what i did i signed uh, in with my free google account it's all free then you see this downward arrow i just clicked on it and it started downloading it on my local system now what happens is that once you download it you download and save it in the comfy ui so wherever you have installed comfy ui on your system like i have done here go to comfy ui go to models go to checkpoints and then you see i have saved it here rev animated the thing which i downloaded from cvtize website so the, i have already downloaded it second thing we also need to download this lora because we want to use them together again go to this page in cvti and then from there again click on this downward arrow it will start downloading it for you sometime what happens it when you click it it is asking you um, it might ask you for multiple files but we just are interested in this lora we are not interest, interested in training data and lora sizes are almost very small because they are just apaches or adapters on top of base model base model will be uh, bit uh, you know of big size so download it and then you need to save it again go to wherever you have installed comfy ui in models and in this directory loras and you see that i have put in my lora here elemental fire dot save tensor so not only we have downloaded our base model we also have downloaded our lora so both are there let's go back to comfy ui so our models are present so on the load checkpoint this is where you load your base model so click on this downward arrow again this arrow uh, on, and then it will show you all the models which are in present in your checkpoint directory we are interested in this rev animated just select there that's good okay now uh, what happens next so next two nodes are clip text and code and clip text and code now everything is input from this node to the output of these other nodes the clip nodes the purpose of these clip nodes is that they convert or encode text prompts into a format that is understood by the sampler this k sampler at k sampler actually generates your images from text so we have two clip text nodes one is for positive prompt what we want our what we want our image to be and the other one is negative prompt what we don't want in the image so we don't want text and watermark and we want beautiful scenery nature glass bottle something like that so uh, this convert this text or encodes this text so that sampler would install sampler actually generates the image and you see the model is going as input to the model and then positive uh, prompt is coming from the top one as you can see the orange one and negative is coming uh, sorry this uh, white one and then you see that another orange is going here negative prompt and then we have this latent image where we are empty latent image where we are just describing the configuration of the image what would be the width height and all that stuff and then once the latent image is generated which is in the latent space that is not visible we want to make it pixelized so that we could see it we will just pass it to vae which is a variable auto encoder so what happens is that it takes this latent image which is not visible converts it to pixel 
saves it and that's how we are able to see it so for example if i just want to run this without any lora adapter you see there is no mention of lora here i'll just click on q prompt here you see it is moving k sampler is generating the image there you go so there is no fire nothing at all even if you just say something like uh, make it uh, fiery something like that make it fire something like that so it will do something fire but it won't be that fiery look you see it's it doesn't have that fiery look which we really want it to be so similarly so we want really it's a elemental fire look so how do we do that we get that lora how do we do that so we need to add another node which is a lora node for that anywhere here just click on maybe i'll just move it here a little bit then i'll just right click here and say add node and then just uh, maybe you know you see that we have a lot of nodes here for latent for loaders you'd see loader and then you see load lora click here and we have this load lora here and we have to integrate in this um, our workflow and how do we do that so because first we have this pre-trained model we need to connect this model to this lora now in instead of connecting this model direct to this one case sampler but we will do we'll just click here and move it to this model so that first our model will come the sorry base model will come and then we will apply lora model on top of it and then we will go from there similarly the clip we will engage it here so clip will go here and then this clip will also go here both clip go here and from here so you see sorry so instead of these clips going here these will come here that is good so both clips are here now and from there that it is going already there so i'm just going to uh, move it from sorry not from here so this is already going here so this clip will go here here and then here so instead of these clips which primarily takes our text input instead of going from load checkpoint we have put in another node in between there it is a bit messy but now i think it should make a bit of a sense maybe i'll move it here so you see what happens model goes into lora model clip goes into clip and then similarly vae is still going to this VA decoder node chain there and then from lora model both positive and negative prompts are being inputted here and then from there it is going to our case sampler as usual so we have engaged lora here now another thing which you always need to remember is that whenever we are generating something uh, from this lora models there there is always a trigger word which we need to put in trigger word is a keyword which 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 we need to put in the prompt that is what triggers our lora to generate the image with that specific uh, use case so for example we have this prompt now the trigger word for this elemental fire is element fire or elemental fire so for example if you go here and then you just scroll down it is always mentioned what is the trigger word you see it says use the trigger word element fire along with the lora to activate it so you, we need to use this element fire somewhere in the prompt and now when you run the same prompt with the purple bottle but with this trigger word element fire you see it has put in a lot of elemental fire element around it not only within the bottle but also around it so let's try out another one so for example i'm just going to give you a big prompt like brown you know something elemental file uh, brown a zebra something like that let's run it to see what exactly it prints there you go and then you can just try out various prompts here you see it is just creating different prompts different stuff and of course you would have to go through various iterations but anyway so this is how 
you know, if you really think about it, you go to this website, Sibita, and there are heaps of others. If you go here, you just start searching for Loras of this model. There are heaps of them. So, for example, if you go to this page, you scroll down and then there are a lot of them. I'm not going to show you because this could be NSFW. There are some really bad things uh, sometimes you find. But anyway, so there are a lot of Loras available. I think thousands and thousands of them which people have created. Um, in the future videos, I will also show you how you can create the Lora from here. But uh, it's not that hard at all. But all in all, real good stuff. And you can, of course, generate images like these with the help of this Lora. All local, all private, all for free. But before I leave you, let me also show you because both models and compu UI loaded how much VRAM I am using. NVIDIA Dash SMI. There you go. So I'm using just a 2.4 or 2.5 gig of VRAM. That's it. So you can even use it on commodity hardware. Even you can try it out on uh, some of the CPU, but I think go with the VRAM. So that's it. Before I leave you there, let me give, um, a, you know, introduce you to our sponsors who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language through which you can uh, do a lot of uh, good stuff easily. And that good stuff is primarily to extract uh, data from web pages quickly, easily and scale. And you can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. So do check them out. Also, the GPU and VM which I have used is courtesy Mast Compute who are also uh, you know, uh, giving a free GPU credit away in this competition which you can access from the video's description. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.